Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, Math to Find. Today we're going to explore mean absolute deviation, or MAD for short. Let's start by breaking down the phrase mean absolute deviation. Mean is just a fancy math word for finding the average for a set of data points. The word absolute here is referring to the math term absolute value, or a value's distance on a number line. And remember, it is always positive because distance is always positive. The last word here, deviation, is another fancy math term describing how much a data point varies or differs. In short, mean absolute deviation, or MAD, is a way to understand how spread out the numbers in a data set are from the average. It also helps us see how much the data in our group varies from each other and from the average. Let's look at the results of this survey on the number of hours students spend studying per week. The data points from the survey are shown in this dot plot. The data here shows that the students spent between a minimum of 2 hours and a maximum of 10 hours studying per week. It is difficult to see what the average number of hours is by just looking at the dot plot. We can see that the mode, or the most occurring value, is 4 hours, but that is not necessarily the mean or the average of this data set. In order to find the mean, we will need to add all the values together and then divide by 12 because we have 12 data points. The sum of the data is 72, and then dividing by 12, we get a mean of 6. So now that we have found the mean, we can see how spread out the data is by calculating its mean absolute deviation, or MAD. I'm going to use the dot plot here to help you visualize this process. First, I will draw a line on the dot plot at the calculated mean of 6. The first step in finding the MAD is to calculate the distance that each data point is away from the mean of 6. So let's look at this first data point of 2. To find its distance away from the mean of 6, we need to subtract 6 minus 2. So its distance away from the mean is 4. And again, to make this process more visual, I'm going to place each data point's distance from the mean next, next to its dot on the dot plot. The next data point is 4, and 6 minus 4 is 2. So I will place a 2 next to all five of these data points. The next three data points are 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. Remember, we are calculating the distance, so our values here must be positive. Next we have 9. 9 minus 6 is 3. And the last two data points are 10, and 10 minus 6 is 4. The next step in calculating the MAD is to add all these distances together and then divide by 12, because again, there are 12 data points. The sum of the distances is 28 over 12, and 28 divided by 12 is the repeating decimal of 2.3, which we could round to just 2.3 or leave it as is. So what does this value really show us? The MAD of 2.3 means that each data point, or each dot on this dot plot, is on average 2.3 units away from the mean of 6 when looking at it on a number line. And if I draw a line here on the right, about 2.3 units away from 6, and another line on the left, 2.3 units away from 6, you can actually see this average distance to see that the data points for this survey are pretty spread out. The larger the value of the calculated MAD, the more spread out and more variable the data will be. MAD is a valuable tool that helps us to understand and interpret data in the real world. By calculating the MAD, we can understand how consistent or spread out the data is, helping us make sense of the numbers and draw meaningful conclusions. Thanks for learning with us today, and be sure to check out these videos next. Until next time! Keep math awesome.